And the spring election is coming up April 2nd with multiple races up for grabs. News 19's Chandler Brindley spoke with two candidates currently running for the Lacrosse School Board and has the story. Tuesday is election day in Wisconsin. In Lacrosse, nine candidates are vying for three positions on the Lacrosse School Board. The selection for school board is somewhat different than other years. When filling out your ballot, you will see only two candidates because seven of the nine candidates are write-ins. One of the candidates you will see on the ballot is Tim Alberts. He says if elected to school board, he would like to open up communication with the community more than what already exists. It always seems like the, the school district um, is the first um, to, to a big announcement uh, and, the, and the community kind of feels like they, they didn't know what was going on. Um, I was part of the facility advisory committee uh, where we advised uh, the school board to do things uh, and then the school board did completely opposite. Um, so yeah, I think that there just needs to be some more transparency uh, between the district and the community. Like Alberts, write-in candidate Jeremiah Galvan would also like to open communication between the board and community if elected to the school board. People brought to the table, communication opened up, and like collaboration really uh, happening as we look to move forward in terms of uh, seeing what our district can be and determining the steps as to how we are going to get there. As for the district, it faces some challenges that these candidates will have to face when elected to the board. Consolidation of elementary schools and a declining enrollment are two of these that are imminent and already happening. And one of the things that I would really like to see is our district become a magnet school district that attracts families, that attracts students. My goal is if to save as many neighborhood schools. I mean, neighborhood schools are, are what build communities. People move, move to these neighborhoods because those schools are there. Reporting in La Crosse, I'm Chandler Brindley, News 19. And Galvan says write-in candidates will not be counted until April 9th. And the spring primary election is coming up again on Tuesday. And if you live within the school district of La Crosse, here is the full list of those running for the La Crosse School Board. The candidates on the ballot are Tim Alberts and Adam Manka, while the write-in candidates include Jeremiah Galvan, Kevin Lee, Jim Bagnuski, Amber Peterson, Jake Williams, Kathy Blanchard, and Mike Richmond. According to the district, the three winners of seats won't be announced until after the election canvass, and again, that takes place on April 9th.